Hey what's up guys, it's JKK Tag, and today we're going to be hitting you up with one of the strongest decks and GCs at the moment. As you guys can probably notice by the card order, I have OCD, so I, uh, I stacked up all the legendaries, and then I put the blue units right next to each other. But guys, this deck is so good in GCs, I got a very solid 12 wins with it. The Mega Knight is so strong in this meta at the moment, if you end up dropping it right on top of a Hog Rider, the Hog Rider will get zero hits on the tower. I'm preferring Zap over Log in a lot of my decks at the moment because so many people are running Bats. Another big thing that's happened is because so many people are running Zap, then a lot of people are going to be running Log Bait. However, you're going to have the Electro Wizard and you're going to have the Mega Knight. Also guys, when you're trying to deal with a Goblin Barrel, the timing for the Ewas and the Mega Knight are completely and utterly different. The Mega Knight is right before the Goblin Barrel crosses the river and the Ewas is two tiles after the Goblin Barrel crosses the river. Alright guys, let's get straight into my 12 win. We killed the game in this GC. I was very happy to win this one. 22k gold. I really want to get a new legendary. I want to get the Mega Knight. I want to get a Night Witch. I want to have something I don't have maxed out. Getting the 3M, getting the Bats, getting minions. This is all going straight into gold, unfortunately for me. Bomb Tower, obviously the most OP card in the game. And uh, Skelly, Zap, getting some Bar Pots. Alright, so we're not going to get a legendary, but I really hope we get some cannon cards right here. We get some poisons, that's okay. At least I get a ton of gold so I can buy legendaries as they appear in the shop, guys. Alright guys, let's jump straight into the live battles. Alright guys, we got our first game against the Snake from Riot Company. Saucing out the good luck. Let's see what he's up to. Probably gonna be our best maneuver to just drop the bandit. So this is looking like a log bait variation. We're gonna be zapping that for sure. Really want to get that bandit on the tower. It looks like it will get a dash, which is really good for us. I'm going to drop my Electro Wizard off to the side here. I don't drop it on top because it would actually get damaged by the minions. In this situation, it's not going to really get hurt too much. If I dropped it right on top, it would be hurt more. Went in for a Fireball. Fireball, minions. This is looking like a giant deck potentially. So I'm going to be dropping my Bats off to the side and my Miner off to the other side. Simply because I'm trying to stagger them further apart from each other. Don't want to allow him to use a melee unit to uh, actually defend for the Bats and then also kill the Miner in the same Alright, so this guy uh, is probably going to be running Lava Loon. What we're going to be doing is we're going to be trying to pressure him really hard right now. And then we're just going to try to use an Inferno Dragon to defend. That is definitely the maneuver in this situation. So he just used 6 Elixir. There's no way that he's actually able to or afford a Balloon. So this uh, this push that is, he's about to drop is just completely nullified. Alright, so he's going to go opposite lane. He's playing this actually really well. I think that was going to be... Uh, did not really consider that as a possibility. However, the balloon is just going to get wrecked. We're going to zap those. And we're still out here. The balloon will get one hit on the tower, not two. And I'm liking our situation a lot. So guys, whenever you're playing against Lava Balloon, pressure the opposite lane and then try to defend with like an Inferno Dragon or something along those lines. He really wasn't able to get a cohesive push going together because he had to spend six elixir on defense right there. So he has Fireball. He most likely will have Zap for my bats. We're going to be cycling our bats in the back simply because we want to get back to them really early. Then we're going to do the same maneuver. And we should end up taking that tower. There's no way for him to actually defend that. That was really well played, however. Notice how he dropped the... Uh, he let the tower just be taken by the... Uh, by the Mega Knight and the Bandit. And he ended up dropping a tombstone to separate my push, which was actually really phenomenal by him. Going to get a zap in. Unfortunately for us, we're going to lose that tower. I guess I over defended right there. But I think we can still bounce back out of this. We're going to be dropping our Inferno Dragon. We're going to be pressuring opposite lane with Mega Knight. We're not going to really allow him to set up a huge push because he has to defend that Mega Knight or it will take up his tower for sure. Saving the Electro Wizard. We're saving the Electro Wizard for the Balloon, guys. Know that the Mega Knight will take that tower because he doesn't really have anything. The balloon is coming in hot. We're going to be dropping the lecture. We're dropping the bats. We're also going to be zapping immediately to kill the goblins. The bats are going to do their job. And it looks like we got the game in the bag, guys. This is a very difficult matchup for us, but we still pulled it out. I'm very happy to uh, have won this game. Good game, sir. Let's move on to the next one, guys. I love how the bandit was about to dash on the king's tower at the end. All right, we're going to play against Felipe. Good luck, sir. Pro Esports BR. Don't know what clan that is. Regardless, guys, we're going to be cycling the bats in the back and just seeing what's up. Just going to cycle Ice Golem. Very indicative of either a graveyard deck or an, or some weird expo deck. Maybe maybe even log bait. We don't know yet. Some log bait deck uh, with like Mega Knight, for example. 
We're gonna drop the Electro Wizard. <laughs> Alright, so I, I guess I just somehow didn't really see that as a possibility, but uh, I guess Hog Rider is also a very real possibility as well. A really great Lightning by him, that was extremely aggressive though. Still has to deal with that Mega Knight. Could have liked to go for a Bandit, but we're not about that life. We're not allowed. To, we're not really gonna play too aggressive right now. Gonna wait for that to die for sure. Use one of his tanks, that's gonna be very beneficial for him to defend against the Bandit. So let's see if he just drops Goblins. Yeah. Alright. I don't really know if he's gonna have Zap or not. That's gonna be interesting to see. If he does, we're just gonna go in for a Bats right here. We're gonna go in for a Miner in the back. See what's up, make him zap those at least, cycle. Be nice for us. If we get some nice damage there too, that would have been even better. He's gonna go in for a push that can easily just get nullified by a uh, Electro Wizard. The Electro Wizard, since he doesn't have goblins, I don't have to worry too much about anything. Also gonna just drop Mega Knight right on top. Rather not drop the Inferno Dragon, just wanted to mitigate damage there. Usually you wanna have the Mega Knight in cycle with your, uh, in cycle with the Hog Rider, but in this instance, I knew that he couldn't really do much. He has Goblins in cycle again. He's not really going to be able to use them. He actually has P.E.K.K.A. too. All right, so this is a definitely a counter deck. Hopefully, we're able to pull this one out. This will be a rough matchup for sure. All right, so the P.E.K.K.A. is coming in hot. We got to have some way of dealing with the Electro Wizard that will surely be placed down soon. All right, so I don't think he has Elixir for, for Electro Wizard anymore. Might zap me. Or, yeah, okay, we just completely shut down his push. Easy, guys. Easy stuff right there. <laughs> I don't really know. I, I don't know why he uh, elected to drop so much elixir behind that instead of just trying to support the uh, Pekka. But to each their own. We drop in Bandit in the back. We're trying to stagger our units. We're going to drop the Inferno Dragon again. I guess he's going for the same thing. Yeah, I guess he's just going for the same thing. And we're going to drop the Mega Knight just to make sure that we don't take any damage. He's got to deal with the right hand side because we dropped 7 Elixir right there. He's just going to drop an Electro Wizard and that's really not going to be enough. We got so many more hits right there. Drop the Electro Wizard on defense. Heck, we could even Miner on defense, but you know, it's not really worth it. Banditing. We're going to be dropping the Inferno Dragon outside of range where he would uh, definitely want to go for a... Uh, Lightning, and we're just using Poison and Zap on defense simply because we just we want to do as much damage to the Hog Rider as possible. Just make him feel bad and not get any hits. Alright, so guys, we're killing the game right now. So we just got two wins in a row. Let's keep the ball moving, guys. On to the next one. Alright, guys, we got a game against Ultier from uh, A Cormula or Comerla. I don't even know. <laughs> guys, I mess up everyone's name. I mess up everyone's clan name as well. It's, uh, it's just about my being. That's what I am. Alright, so this might be a Splash Art variant or Golem after I see the Baby Dragon. That's pretty much what I'm thinking. Unfortunately for me, uh, the Bats actually like to go there. We're going to go drop the Electro Wizard. Hopefully that pulls it. Nice. So this is looking like it's probably going to be a Graveyard Variation. Not 100% sure on that, but uh, that's what it's looking like. That will get a hit. He ends up going for a Log, so it was it was uh, definitely mitigated right there. So that's that's good for him. Dropping the Inferno Dragon in the back, seeing what's up. Yeah, this is Splasher, guys. So, it's really important to recognize what your opponent's running so that you can actually save counters. I'm going to pretty much be saving Poison or other cards just to make sure that I don't get finessed by him. He doesn't have Electro Wizard in Cycle. So, oh, he does. Alright, I lied. I just simply lied right there, guys. So, don't pay attention to what I say. Alright, so we're going to be dropping the bats off to the side so they don't get killed by the, uh, by the Baby D. Going to be zapping as well. We really didn't need that. I should have dropped the uh, bandit. All right, what is this? This is a really, really odd variation of giant. He kind of finessed me right there, uh, just dropping the giant out of nowhere. I really didn't think he had an answer, but uh, I think that the Electro Wizard is just going to go hard in the paint on him right now. So many hits, guys. There is no answer because guess what? The towers are both shooting that one miner. Miner on the king tower that really doesn't matter to him. Oh, that feels so bad for him. Alright, since his Santa Claus is out of cycle, I don't really know what he's going to be dropping. Maybe a bowler. Yep, there's a bowler. Nice. Alright, so we're going to be dropping the Inferno Dragon. Then he's going to probably drop the E-Wiz, and we're going to drop the Mega Knight right on top. That's the plan, at least. Okay, we see you, we see you. Oh, we definitely see you, sir. 
I don't know why I didn't drop that up higher, but you know, mistakes were made. And the Inferno Dragon is gonna just ravage his tower. I guess he made a bigger mistake. Bigger mistakes were made out of this, sir. And uh, yeah, we're just gonna win this game. There's nothing this man can do. We're gonna be dropping our Miner. We're gonna be zapping the, the bats so they get zero hits on my Miner. So the Miner's at like full health when it gets there. The Inferno Dragon is still putting in so much work. Guys, if you are able to kill their Electro Wizards, which is pretty easy to do with this deck, then the Inferno Dragon just has free reign on everything. Waiting for the Baby Dragon to go on my side before dropping anything. And uh, I didn't want to fight on his side. I wanted the tower to actually be shooting the Baby Dragon since I only really had a Bandit and a Mega Knight, which really don't shoot up. He used Lightning in that situation. It was kind of awkward. I don't really know why he would have Lightning. I guess it has good synergy with Giant, but this is just a not very common deck. All right, guys, we just got 12 wins. That's pretty hype. Let's get right into the chest and let's see what we get. Getting into the chest, we get 22k gold as expected. I really, really want to get a Mega Knight. Mega Knight is OP. I only have him as level 2 and I need him as level 4 to actually be playable on ladder. Getting some nice bomb towers, getting some musketeers. The mini Pekka is here. Fireballs are decent. We get in some tombstones. This is all translating straight into gold. And we got to get all the epics right here, right now, guys. We got 11 epics. We're going to get a legendary. Please give me the Mega Knight. Let's see it, guys. The the hype is real right now. The card and innovation is here. Alright guys, so I'm back from Baby Rage and I'm pretty much a Sparky Magnet at this point. I've been finessing GCs with this deck recently and I highly encourage you guys to check it out. Here's the deck again guys, so I highly suggest you use this to grind GCs and be sure to hit me up in the comments section and let me know how this deck ends up working for you. As always guys, thanks for chilling with me today and I can't wait to see you guys next time. Peace out guys.